house of defensive beings. Frantic Freud has a large family that is occasionally concerned about him. Frantic Freud was bullied several times last month. But as his family tries to get to the bottom of what happened, repression keeps Frantic Freud from being able to tell them the full story. Out of frustration and confusion, Frantic Freud decided to go sit in his room for some alone time. Frantic Freud's sister, Displacement Dora, busted into his room, throwing books and toys, and began to scream at him. She told him he was stupid and worthless to her. Little Frantic Freud had no idea why his sister, Displacement Dora, was saying these things to him. The truth is, Displacement Dora had just gotten her cell phone taken away by her parents and was very upset with them. But the only person she could lash out at was Freud. Frantic Freud was really hurt by the surprise attack from his sister. So he left out of his room to hopefully find someone to talk to. He ran into his grandpa, Regression Ronald, in the living room. But Regression Ronald had no interest in Freud's problem with his sister. Instead, Regression Ronald threw a fit and begged Freud to go outside and push him on the swing. Frantic Freud said, no, but Regression Ronald a 64-year-old grandpa continued to whine and stomp his feet like a child in an attempt to get his way. Frantic Freud left out of the living room and made his way to the garage where he ran into his stepdad, Reaction Formation Franklin. Reaction Formation Franklin feels that Frantic Freud takes up all of his mother's time and leaves none for him. Even though Reaction Formation Franklin doesn't like little Freud being around, he buys him expensive gifts and spoils him rotten. Reaction Formation Franklin wanted nothing to do with Freud's issue with his sister, so he gave him a $200 gift card to Toys R Us and told him to run along now. Excited about his Toys R Us gift card, he went to look for his mother, Rationalization Rhonda, out back in the garden. He told her there was $200 on the gift card, enough money to help him build his dream toy house. He asked Rationalization Rhonda if she could drive him down to Toys R Us. She took a deep sigh and told him that she doesn't think the drive down to Toys R Us would be worth it at all. Even though Frantic Freud did his best to convince her and gave her several good reasons for why she should take him, Rationalization Rhonda still felt that it was unnecessary and would be better if they just stayed home. Frantic Freud decided to get over it and went back to his room. Unfortunately, no one was able to help Frantic Freud with any of his problems. He was sad, began to feel alone, and ended up repressing his feelings and forgetting all about his frustration. The end.